Hello, uh, welcome to my latest video. I'm back on the canals, can't resist the canal, largely due to the fact that's where I like to, uh, to walk and I've always got my camera with me. And this was from a reference photo I took on the uh, same day I did the, the geese. It's the same stretch of water, it's the Kennet and Avon Canal. So, uh, won't waste too much of your time, please uh, like and subscribe if you like this sort of thing. And, uh, Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. The starting point for this painting was a very simple drawing, just a few lines, mainly the position of the boat that was the most important thing. And uh, as per usual, landscape oils, uh, riverscape, whatever you like to call it, is to block in the whole picture with a very crude version of the painting. This gets rid of uh, all the most well most of the white areas, so that uh, when you miss a bit of painting, you haven't got white in there. Um, you can, if you notice there, I just quickly uh, went over the whole thing with a with a, a mixed black with a lot of liquid and used uh, the rosemary tree and texture brush just to put sort of mottled pattern over the whole painting. Spotty in the trees and little lines in the water. The main purpose for this is to uh, give you something, some sort of texture in the bits you miss when you do the main layers. Without, without that, uh, the little background bits you miss, because you will miss lots of little bits, especially when you're painting as I am now, every last little leaf. Um, if it's you don't put that texture on it looks very flat But with the texture it just gives the painting a bit of bit of added depth Now here if you've been watching uh, I've been jumping between the fan brush and and a small flat brush to Give an indication of these leaves. These will be the um, the main the background colors. I will go over more carefully with the with smaller leaves later as I'm just starting to do now the uh, this small flat brush I'm just using the, the corner just to put little little spots all over and sort of in a dotting sort of motion and you can do it quite fast It looks like you've painted every separately when, when, when you sort of have, but because you can just sort of vibrate your hand a bit, so you can you can cover the air an area very very fast. I just uh, put a few indications of trees, of branches, and trunks in there. As I keep going over and over this, I'm slowly get in a, a lighter and greener paint to do the um, the highlights on the leaves. I've switched over to a rigger brush here to do the, the finest parts of the leaves. I have done the whole thing with just the flat brush before but uh, this time I thought I'd give the rigger a go again. See, I'm slowly getting uh, lighter and lighter. And now I'm putting in some very light yellow. This here in the painting is where there's gaps in the tree, tree, and you're seeing the far side of, of the trees where it's in sunlight. Because the the way this uh, scene is, the everything's backlit. If, if the trees weren't there, you you would be blinded by the sun. Now I'm doing the uh, the nearest tree, which is mostly in silhouette, but like the left-hand side, it will have a lot of backlit leaves to it, which I'll do in a minute.
tree seems to come to life once uh, I've done this. It gives it some really good depth. There I added a little bit of white into the top part of the tree. It's, it's the only bit of the sky you can see in this painting. Except for the reflection in the water. You do see the sky there. Now I'm using a very... Uh, I was going to say watered down oil paint, but it's not watered. It's mixed with quite a lot of liquid to make it flow really smoothly while well, I've put some some of the darker colors in the uh, in the canal and gave them a quick blend with a an, an, uh, makeup brush I do find the makeup brush brushes better than the ones made especially for artists the hairs seem to stay intact better Now just getting the uh, the narrowboat finished before I do the main layer of of the water. Now the technique for this water is mostly just getting the highlight color or near not quite the close to the highlight color and just making lots of horizontal dashes big fat ones like I started here and, and now little tiny ones the water was quite choppy so the peaks of all the uh, the ripples caught the sun and gave it a kind of a sparkly effect here I'm adding a few of the reflections of the trees the, near, the trees or the bushes that are closest to the water where it's further away from the trees and the lower down in the water seems as though the uh, the sky had taken over as well as the little dashes i've put little almost pure white spots on there as well as like little jewels you you get when the uh, the sun hits choppy water now just to finish off i put a little patch of uh, grass and flowers on this right hand side I couldn't tell you what the flowers are because I've just um, done it quite crudely because I don't want this bottom corner to be the focus of the painting the uh, the narrow boat is the focus so anything on the extremities like this I've uh, sort of almost done abstract just to uh, stop your eye going there too much and uh, and that's it I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next video thank you